aflicción y las lágrimas que lloras de con nuevo corazón. No llores más, mi Cristo está llorando. No llores más, Él conoce tu dolor. Contestará todas tus bendiciones y sin duda te dará su bendición.
reino Señor acuérdate de este pecador Señor acuérdate cuando estés en tu reino Señor acuérdate este pecado hoy en el paraíso tú estarás conmigo le digo mi Cristo al que se De lo que antes me hablaste Pero por mis vicios No te quise seguir Ahora vengo a ti
aflicción y las lágrimas que lloras te conmueve el corazón. Él conoce tu dolor y conoce tu aflicción y las lágrimas que lloras te conmueve el corazón. No llores más, mi Cristo está llorando. No llores más, Él conoce tu dolor. Y sin duda te dará su bendición. Deleita de Jehová, Él te concederá la petición de tu corazón. Él conoce tu dolor y conoce tu aflicción. Y las lágrimas que lloras te conmueve el corazón. petición de tu corazón Él conoce tu dolor y conoce tu aflicción y las lágrimas que lloras te conmueve el corazón No llores más mi Cristo está llorando No llores más Él conoce tu dolor Y sin duda te dará su bendición When the mountains are high The valley so low You just need a friend To have and to hold When you stumble and fall And you don't understand Why no one's around When you reach for a hand She
en tu reino Señor acuérdate de este pecador Señor acuérdate cuando estés en tu de poder, poder con lo mejor de mariachi porque me amaste tanto norteña esta vida que ahora tengo solo la tengo prestada cumbia yo caminaré yo predicaré a Jesucristo y tejano el Estás en la sintonía de Ministerios de Poder. Poder. Good afternoon. Welcome to the celebration of my uncle, Richard Pacheco Perez. Today is the day that we celebrate his life. And I just want to let you know that today is going to be a roller coaster of emotions. We're going to laugh and we're going to cry. And if you knew my uncle Richard, you knew that you were on a ride because he was crazy, but he loves so many people. Look at you. Look at everyone that showed up today. My uncle is love. Look around you. Look to the left. Look to the right. He has impacted so many people's lives today. And we want to thank you on behalf of all our family, on behalf of the Perez family. We want to thank each and every one of you that you made your time to come out here today. Even those that drove from out of town. Thank you so much. We definitely are feeling your love, your prayers, and your support during these days. I want to thank the Lord because throughout this time, if you knew my uncle, he always wanted to be around people. And during the season that we're in right now in this COVID pandemic, we have seen so many people having to say goodbye through technology. Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought we would be here today 2020, July 19, having to say goodbye to my uncle. But it's not a goodbye, it's a see you later. Because my uncle is celebrating. He is celebrating on those roads of gold and he's the happiest he could ever be because he's with his mama. And so again, we want to thank each and every one of you today. Thank you so much for making your time to come out here. What I want you to do right now is get online 
on the Holy One page, church, the Holy One church, if this is broadcasting live right now, and you're able to share it, make a comment, start a watch party. If you know Richard, he loved a party. So start your watch party and let everyone know that Richard Celebration is live right now. Enjoy the service. God bless you. Dios los bendiga de parte de mis padres Joe Kino y Gloria García. Queremos extender nuestras condolencias a la familia Pacheco Pérez que perdieron a su hijo, un gran amigo Richard Pérez. Queremos dedicar este canto. Cuando estoy en medio de la lucha Yo pienso en mi Cristo Cuando Él venga en el cielo, en las nubes Con Él quiero irme La esperanza que ha dado a mi alma Mi aliento espiritual Si dormida mi encuentro en la tumba Me levantará En mis luchas, tristezas y pruebas Le pido a mi Cristo Que me aumente la fe y la confianza y me dé paciencia prometió que estaría conmigo hasta el fin del mundo jamás nada podrá separarme pues con él Yo quiero trabajo por el Señor. Hi, I'm Pat. Um, me and my mom met Richard when we started to attend um, San Antonio Worship Center in 2010. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to go or not because I just didn't think I was going to be accepted anywhere, so Richard took us in and he always told me never to pay attention to what anybody said because only God could judge me. And then I, I loved the way he prayed and he prayed for everybody and he loved everybody and everybody loved him. I loved the way he sang. My mom was sorry she couldn't attend but with everything going on, she's just so heartbroken. And, she loved Richard a lot. I remember every time we would go somewhere, or we would to go eat. And I had to wait for him all the time, like at least 30 minutes to an hour, because he was too busy looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> Finally, I would tell him, Richard, hurry up, Richard, we're, we're going to be late. And he would always tell me, I look chulo, right? <laughs> I would tell him, yes, you do. He wasn't just my pastor, he was my best friend. He, he was my brother in Christ. I'm just gonna miss him so much. <laughs> but I know he wanted to be with his mom and, and now he can be singing to her up there rejoicing in heaven. Why we're all here just <laughs> missing him and sad and not gonna hear his voice anymore <laughs> or his laugh or his smile. I'm always going to love you, Richard.
Richard. I appreciate everything that you gave me. Let me to help you with your CDs of whenever you go to concerts, sleeping over with you, and having fun trips that we did together. You helped the people. We, we were with the radio whenever I was little. We went places, joke around. I remember one good prank that you did with me. We were in the highway. You, you just pulled over the car and until I got out, I just jumped because you honked at it. I really liked that joke and I will never forget about it. I remember that we went to uh, the best moments that we did. We went to Albuquerque, New Mexico with Brother Jaime. It was, it was awesome. I wouldn't appreciate everything that you did. We went with Pete, with Isaac. Um, you, until we were about to leave, we bought some stuff and I appreciate everything that you bought me. You bought me a bone arrow, a custom name tag, and a necklace. I, I appreciate everything that you did for everything for me, Uncle Richard. Hi everybody. I'm one of Richard Perez's sister. I'm one of the twins. My name is Lisa Renteria, and I was one of his favorites. Just kidding, we were all his favorites. There's so much to talk about my brother, because he was the center of the family. He loved to make big parties. When he made parties, oh yeah, we partied. We had the works, of course. But uh, I was just like him. When we were young, I could start back when we were young, many years ago, we used to like to go dancing with our parents. And I was his dancing partner. But now I'm his dancing partner when we were with the Lord. We loved to praise God. And I supported his ministry, going to all his concerts, and he loved it. But my mom was his number one fan. And I know she's happy. She waited eight years. And remember, God only takes the best. So he took my brother so he could be with my mom. And now they're partying up in heaven. So I'm sad that he's gone, but I'm happy because I know where he went. And uh, I used to take care of my brother uh, for about a year and a half. I was his provider. He used to live with my dad at the time. And uh, he liked me to be his provider because he knew I cleaned a lot. And I liked being his provider because I got to spend time with him and spend time with my dad while he lived there. And uh, we used to go to the restaurants. I never had to pick the restaurant because he knows all the restaurants in Texas. Oh, and he picked some good ones. So I always enjoy that. And I have those memories when I used to take care of him. If we ever had to go to his doctor appointments, I knew we were going to eat very well. So I thank God for those memories that I had with him. I'm going to miss him dearly. Who's not? My brother was a happy-goer person. He talked to everybody. It didn't matter who. He loved people. He was a people person. And he had compassion for them. And I know many of y'all are going to miss him, just like I'm going to miss my brother. He means the world to me. But I know he's doing a lot better than what he was doing down here on earth. I thank all of y'all for coming to support him and with, with him throughout his lifetime while he was here. We thank you, the whole family. And uh, I just want to tell my brother that I'm going to miss him and I love you dearly, and give mama a big great hug and a kiss from me, and uh, we'll see you soon. Very soon we'll see, be able to be together. Like it says, a family that prays together always stays together. So I'll see you soon, brother. I love you. Thank you 
y'all for coming for to my Richard Perez's funeral. It's unbelievable that we all went, that we all are all going through this and seeing his passing. It was very different not visiting him at the hospital. But we're gonna remember his smile, his laugh, his jokes, all the good times we had with each other. Even the best time for me is when, when I used to get his piggy bank with all his coins because that was my gift from, from him as his goddaughter. And now he passed it to Jared because I was growing up. But I'm gonna miss those times. I'm gonna miss those times going to eat with him, eating out with him, just hanging out with him when I used to work with him. It was fun cleaning his house, telling me, oh, if you missed the spot, you need to do that again. And I wouldn't mind it to do it again. And I wish I could do it again and make more memories with him. But I'll remember all the good times that we had together. And I appreciate all of y'all for coming. And thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Jovi, and um, I miss Richard very much because he was always bring his camera around, and he was always um, taking pictures, and I just miss him very much. Hello, my name is Zion. I am Richard's oldest great nephew. I remember loving to go to see my Uncle Richard minister at different churches and all his, all his events in his church. I remember right after we'd always go eat to places, have a good time with him and make memories. One of the last things he did for me before he passed away was tell me how much he loved me. And he told me that he wasn't gonna make it. He knew that he was gonna start his new life already in heaven. And he said that he was proud of me, that I was using my talent for God. And he said that I was one of his favorites and he was gonna, and that he was proud of me. I'm gonna miss my uncle, but I know I'll see him again soon. Hi, my name is Zeta. I'm Richard's great niece. And what can I say? We're gonna miss him so much. I loved him so much. I will always remember our memories and cherish each and memory we shared. But most definitely, I wanna thank him for believing in my parents and trusting them to take over the church. That's the ble best blessing he could ever give us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Diana Montoya. I'm actually second to the oldest uh, sister of my brother Richard. Um, I wanna thank everyone that's here today. Um, I wanna thank everyone for coming to celebrate his uh, service uh, of his life. Um, he's got a pretty life that he lived. Um, he lived uh, a life that reached many people. Um, I was able to be a part of his ministry uh, many years. I recall uh, back in 1998, where we went to KSLR and we would go from 11 to 1 in the morning and minister to people that would be calling the radio and we would able to we were the ones answering the calls me and some of the sisters would answer calls for him and he would be putting on the music and uh, people would be calling in and I remember the next day I had to go to work at 7 in the morning and and God would just give me a peace all day long um, then people started knowing who I was through my brother when they would see my nameplate at work they would say, oh, Diana Montoya, I've heard of her. And I, and I would come out on radio with him, and so that's how they knew me, because he would say, mi hermana Diana Montoya está aquí, llamen para oración. And people would call for prayer, and I was one of the ones that would pick up the calls. Also was able to come out on La Once Treinta radio with him in the ministry. Uh, we started, uh, we, we came on board with that, and I was the only woman to come in that radio station at the time. 
uh, with all the pastors in that, in that station, which is still going on. I want to thank Once Treinta for announcing Richard's uh, depart from this world, but I know he's in a better place. Um, I have a peace knowing that my brother came to our church here at the Holy One Church where he was part of the church. Um, he invested in the church when we bought the building. Um, he was part of um, not only being here once in a while visiting, but when he came the last time, I'll never forget, um, if you see on my Facebook page, where my brother hugged me and my older sister was standing next to him. Uh, my mother said, never leave him alone. Uh, when she passed, she said, never leave him alone. She told my older sister, myself, and that picture says it all. We never left him alone. I could tell my brother was repentive. Um, he came to the altar. Um, he cried so much. Um, he he um, just cried so much with the Lord that day. I was able to caress him and hold him and be able to feel the peace that I was getting uh, with him, um, knowing that he was in the midst of the presence of the Lord. And I remember he told me that afternoon, he said, Man, Pastor Ruben preached awesome. And I thank the Lord that I was able to be with him at the hospital. I wasn't able to go in, but I had the opportunity to be with him. And I said, Lord, I'm not going to leave my mom, by, my brother by himself. And you, I'm going to post later a picture of where God had literally opened the blinds to where I can see my brother in a room with the, where he was at. And the night that he passed, the night before he passed, I was able to see him. I was able to see the nurses. I couldn't see his face, but I knew it was him. And my sister Linda was able to confirm that it was his room. And I thank the Lord because when you ask God for the desires of your heart, he'll do it. And I know my brother wasn't alone. And I know that also that my brother was able to share with us the last day before he was intubated and put under the ventilator. He was able to share with my sister Yolanda here again. We're together with him again. And my mom said, don't leave him by himself. He told the oldest and myself not to leave him by, by alone. And my brother was able to uh, tell us, minister to us and say, I'm not going to make it. My dad was sitting there listening to him on the, on the uh, uh, news feed, listening to him while he's in the hospital before he gets intubated. And he tells my dad, I'm not going to make it. And my dad said, what did he say? And I said, dad, he said he's not going to make it. He said, this thing is serious. This COVID is no joke. And so I just thank the Lord because I had the opportunity to have my brother. We had a lot of memories. I mean, I could go on and on with all the memories, but I'm at peace knowing that my brother's in a better place. He's at rest. Um, he's at rest with everything that he went through in his life, everything he did in his life. He impacted so many people in good ways and wrong ways as well. But I want to tell you that God is so good. He's so merciful that he loves each one of us. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart, those that are listening, those that are watching right now, those that are enjoying this celebration of my brother, I want to tell you that God is real. God is in the midst of everything. God will reach you at your point where you're at the lowest. God will reach you. And I've seen the hand of God in my family. And I've seen the hand of God in our life. And I've seen the hand of God in our church and our pastors. And I want to tell you today that Thank you for being his friend. Thank you for reaching out to us as a family. Thank you for reaching out to my dad, Sonny Pettis, which is so grateful for everything. Thank you for reaching out to every sister. Now he left us without a brother, but I know that God is, has him in a better place with my mom. And I just thank each one of you. We love you from the bottom of my heart. If I could hug you right now, I could give out a million hugs right now. But because of what's going on in the situation we're in, I just want to say here, I love you. My heart goes out to you. Thank you for being my brother's friend. Hello everyone. My name is Yolanda Martinez. I'm Richard's oldest sister. What could I say about my brother? We were much alike. Some of y'all know how. I love my brother. I'm gonna miss him. I thank God that I had the opportunity to speak to him a couple of days before he got incubated. And I asked him, brother, you ready? He says, yes, I'm ready. I'm not going to make it. I said, brother, what do we need to do, brother? He says, so-and-so, so-and-so, do this, this, this. Brother, you ready I mean, to meet your maker? He says, yes. I talked, I said, brother, talk to him. He says, I do. I said, brother, I love you. I'm going to miss him dearly. Brother, today I'm wearing my Spanx. 
He always, he always tell us, look good, put on lipstick. Y'all are so gordas, man. Y'all need to get on a diet. But that was my brother. I'm going to miss you, brother. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now my daughter and my son-in-law are pastors. Just thank you, brother. Seeing my, my grandchildren ministering also. Thank you dearly. Thank you everybody that's come out for this celebration with my brother. He's going to be dearly missed. God bless everyone from the bottom of our heart. We love y'all. And God bless everyone. God bless everyone. My name is Priscilla. I'm one of Richard's uh, nieces. And um, I'm going to have great memories of my uncle. And um, one of the memories that I will always remember is being a child and him taking us Christmas shopping to Macy's and Dillard's and how he would want us to get a dress and we would fight him about it but we would end up with the dress that he wanted us to get and I'm going to cherish those memories and also the memories of Ministerio de Poder all the years seeing him and going to his events and how he inspired me to want to sing for God and how everything I wouldn't understand back then but now I do and how he wanted everything that was for God in excellence and how he wanted it in order. And I knew that was a way of him, you know, praising God in that way. God is a God of order. And that's what I will remember of him. And I won't ever forget how he invested in me. And he believed in me. I won't ever forget the phone call I had from, with him. And now he told me he was going to invest in my ministry. And I will cherish that forever. And I will keep doing the things for the Lord because he believed in me. And I'm going to miss my uncle. And I loved him so much. And I want to dedicate this song to my family to know that God carries us through every situation that we face. It may be a hard time for us right now, but God is going to carry us through all this. And I'm going to sing this song called Carry Me. Darkest house, 
Richard Pettis' best friend, Sister Pat. What an honor. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everyone. Dios bendiga cada uno de ustedes. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone for tuning in wherever you're at. Um, I get emotional because uh, I learn a lot from this guy, man. And, and maybe I never admitted it. And I told him before when I talked to him, the, the last time I talked to him, like, you know what, Richard, man? Uh, literally everything that I do, I remember that at my brother's church, I would, I would say, ¿Quién vive? Cristo. Y todos los, the sayings that Richard would say, they stuck in my head. I was, I was literally with him the whole time, man. Every time when he was singing and and, and doing his concerts and his events and all of that. And, and, and it's, man, we're going to miss that. I was talking to my suero the other day, and he and me and him were rem remembering that. You know, me, he said, you know what, Mando? I miss the concerts, man, of Richard. I miss los coritos, and I miss everything that Richard did. And we, and we both started crying outside on his, in his house, at Sonny's house. And... And he asked me, man, do you, do you think God's going to heal Richard? And my answer was, yes, he's going to heal Richard. In this life or the next life, but Richard's going to be healed, sonny. And only God knows what he's going to do. Let's sing together, amen. I love you, Richie. Santo, Santo, Santo. Mi corazón te adora, mi corazón sabe decir, santo eres tú. 
que lo sabe cante con nosotros Santo, Santo, Santo mi corazón te adora mi corazón sabe decir Santo eres tú Evangelista, pastor Richard Pérez era muy conocido por su música de Hanna y Norteño. Hasta mi hermano tuve, por la gracia de Dios, ocho grabaciones. Mi hermano fue muy conocido en San Antonio, Texas, por su ministerio, que se llamaba Ministerios de Poder. Hasta en su ministerio tuvo su programación de radio en diferentes locadas de radio estaciones. Aparte de su ministerio, mi hermano viajó a diferentes partes de Estados Unidos y a unos partes de México. Mi hermano fue una bendición para muchos de nosotros. Dios le dio un don y ese don era, Dios lo usaba por las profecías, los milagros. Mi hermano fue una persona que le gustaba orar por ustedes. Hasta le gustaba orar por las almas en cualquier parte que donde estaban ustedes, hasta en los restaurantes y en los negocios, en cualquier otro lugar, él oraba por usted. Y también oraba por las ofrendas que le entregaban en las, en las manos de él, por la programación de radio. Él siempre oraba por sus ofrendas. Mi hermano era amable. Era una bendición por muchos de nosotros. Era un hombre de valor. Para muchos de nosotros, mi hermano era un amigo, hasta una papá, hasta su pastor. Mi hermano dejó una leyenda a muchos de nosotros. Y esa leyenda nos vamos a llevar en nuestros corazones, en sus memorias. Gracias por todos ustedes que han estado aquí por nosotros a sus oraciones. Mi hermano le encantaba estar con la gente. Como decía mi hermano, échese un grito, un gloria a Dios, que no se pega la lengua. Yo le bendiga a todos. Hermanos y hermanas y siervos del Señor, soy el hermano Pérez, el padre de Richard Pérez, conocido como evangelista, cantante. Él por 42 años, cuando entregó su vida a Cristo, muchas almas vinieron a los pies del Señor a través del ministerio y sus cantos que traían un mensaje. Toda la honra y toda la gloria a Dios, hermano. Pero mi hijo, hermano, fue usado un instrumento en las manos de Dios, hermano, para ganar almas para Cristo, hermano. Y por eso yo estoy muy agradecido a través de tanta enfermedad que él toda su vida estuvo enfermo, hermano, desde pequeño. Batallaba él mucho para hablar, hermano. No comenzó a hablar hasta como los... La edad de ocho años, hermano. Y ahora, hermanos, este, canta para el Señor, predica, hermanos. Pero le plació a Dios llevárselo, hermano. Solo los recuerdos quedan, hermano. Es un momento triste, pero al mismo tiempo, un día los vamos a ver, hermano. Esperábamos un milagro, hermano. Pero el milagro más grande que mi Cristo ya solo llegó a su presencia. Ahí se encuentra con su madre y todos ser queridos, hermano. Muchas gracias, hermano, por sus oraciones, por todo lo que han hecho por él y siguen haciendo por nosotros, hermano. Tenemos que seguir adelante, hermano, sabiendo, hermanos, 
que Dios tiene mucho para dar los hermanos. Y esperamos, hermanos, que a través de luchas y pruebas, porque van a venir, hermanos, cuando tú entregas tu vida a Cristo, ahí vas a saber que vienen luchas y pruebas duras, hermanos. Pero vamos a permanecer en las manos del Señor y dependiente, dependiendo solamente en Él, hermano. Porque ahí está la respuesta. Dios los bendiga, hermanos, de parte de mi familia y su servidor. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Richard Pacheco Pérez, born and raised in San Antonio, Texas, October 28, 1966. Went to be with the Lord Jesus Christ on July 12, 2020. At the age of 53, he's preceded in death by his beloved mother, Jovita Pacheco Pérez, and his brother-in-law, Armando Martinez. He is survived by his father, Regino Sonet Perez, his sisters, Yolanda Martinez, Diana Montoya, husband Ronnie, Lisa Renteria, husband Mando Renteria, Linda Vidal, husband Edwin Vidal, Erica Lopez, husband Eloy Lopez. His nieces, pastors Monica Yvette Cortez, Pastor Ruben, Priscilla Martinez, husband Ricky, Crystal Bueno, husband Adam, Cruz Renteria, Yesenia Martinez, Zachary Vidal, Jared Lopez, his boy, Regina Lopez, and Ceci Lopez. He also had numerous great nieces and nephews that he dearly loved. Honorable Paul Bears, Zion Cortez, Zachary Vidal, Cruz Renteria, Mondo Renteria, Pat Rocha, and his boy, Jared Lopez. This is a song that me and Richard would always sing together. El Gordo y la Flaca. Se está cumpliendo el tiempo cuando Cristo por su pueblo ha de volver. Ya se cumple cada día más y más su profecía.
Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Pastor Ruben Cortez, and we are about to get into the Word of God. And as we begin, I have a special surprise guest that will begin the first part of my sermon. And I pray that you receive the words from this man of God. But I was supposed to be dead. And look, I'm still here. And I say, okay, God, you have me here for a reason. I don't understand. To bless others, help others, be with somebody else. To encourage someone else. But sometimes we ask God, who's there for us? Where's somebody there to help us? And in the moments of need, you know, I can pray for a lot of people. I remember I used to pray for hundreds of people that used to call because I did the radio program for, for over 23 years. And uh, people would call from all over the, the cities and the states and everywhere they would see the program to the internet or, or to the station they would hear. And um, we would pray for people. I could be in the bed dying when I was in my surgeries. I remember I woke up and I heard my sister say, he's laying down. I said, no, bring me the phone. I pray. And, and that was my... That's the way I was taught. The prayer changes things, and there's power in, the, in prayer. And a lot of you give me uh, consejo, me dicen, ore, hermano, ore, eh, no ponga la mirada en la gente. No, no ponga la mirada en la gente. I'm not looking at the people. If I looked at the people, I probably would have been crazy already. I would have been lost. But you know what? I put my eyes on Jesus because he's the one that saves me. I still believe in praying. I still believe in uh, praying for my food. I still give thanks to God for everything. And I tell people, there's people that I don't believe in that. Well, I said, well, I'm sorry, I do believe in Jesus because he's the only one that can change our life. And I'm here to tell you that um, that nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Neither is someone perfecto. Uh, the only perfect one was Jesus Christ. And he still died on the cross of Calvary. He still paid the price. He paid the debt for us. Uh, he didn't have to. He was crucified. They would say, crucify him. Uh, they would whip him. Uh, they would uh, uh, stab him in his, in his, in his costillas. In, in, in so much things that they did. But you know what? Uh, he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. And you know what? And sometimes we can't forgive. We have to learn how to forgive. We have to learn how to let go. There's things in our past that we've been through. You've probably been molested. You've been uh, abused, uh, mistreated. Or maybe your mother wasn't the example for you. Maybe your father wasn't the example. Maybe your family. But you know what? Nobody's perfect in this world. We all have come short of the glory of God. The Bible says everyone comes short of the glory of God. The only perfect one is Jesus Christ, okay? So I'm here to tell you that to be encouraged, trust God, look for God, because you know what? He's the only one that will bring us out of all our problems, all our darkness, all our sickness, all our infirmities, all, the, you know, because if we get to the streets of gold in heaven, we ain't gonna have no more pain. We ain't gonna suffer no more. I'm not gonna have to worry about doctor's appointments and, and having surgeries and, and now go for this because we're gonna have to take care of your pancreas and and we want to make sure it's not cancer and blah 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 and and you're gonna have to have a biopsy done and and so much things that they tell me and I'm like I, I said why why Lord why I, I, I am trusting in you you are the God of miracles you're the God that has the last word but you know what I'm here to tell you that I don't trust in people I trust in God because I know I can have friends today and I know that tomorrow they're not there but I know that somebody that's there every day when I, I call out to him I pray and I scream to him I say Jesus I know you're there you're the only one that can get me out of this problem you're the only one that can help me get out of this sickness you're the only one that can get me out of this pain sabes que Dios está encargado de todas las cosas de todas las cosas I've never done a video of this but I, I felt to share everything that's in my heart I'm hurt I'm hurt with people Estoy estimado con mucha gente que eh, eh, me dieron la espalda y, y yo digo, bueno, si se lo dieron a Cristo, pues ¿quién soy yo? 
y eso es lo que me da consuelo eh, para seguir adelante. Le digo, if they gave the uh, back to Jesus, and if they give it back to me, well, what do I expect? <laughs> you know, so uh, that's what gives me uh, encouragement, even though I might get home late at night, but I pray, I say, God, if it's your will, take me tonight, because they always tell me, uh, you, one day you can die at night, you know, one day you will stop breathing, your heart will, because uh, I have heart failure, and he said, one day, tu corazón se va a parar, y so I'll, every time I lay down, I tell God, I take, before I take my last pills, and I say, God, forgive me for all my sins, forgive me if I hurt somebody, forgive me, and this and that, and, and cleanse me, and if you call me tonight to go to your presence this morning, I'm here, I'm ready, and I fall asleep, and I wake up, that's why I always put, uh, I thank God for one more day that he's given me, un día más que me ha dado, y yo sé que me quieren ver, I know y'all want to see me, but I don't want nobody to see me, <laughs> my hair's not even cold, I've cried and cried. That's all I can do. In front of the people, I'm strong. In front of la gente, soy fuerte. I don't like to cry in front of people. I don't like to, you know, people to feel sorry for me. No me gusta que la gente me tenga lástima, que la gente eh, me vire y llorar. No me gusta, pero soy humano. I am a human person, just like you. And like you want the best for your family, I want the best for my family. And I want God to just make a miracle move that if he's gonna call me home, take me home and prepare me, if he's gonna heal my body, I believe that he can do it. But if he wants me, I don't wanna go through this pain. I don't wanna go through this sickness. I don't claim this sickness, this disease. I bind it in the name of Jesus. And I just say, God, you have me in your hands. Just carry me through. Carry me through and let me be ready for when you call me home. And I ask all of you that I offended to forgive me. Si yo los he ofendido, perdóname. In the presence of God that I'm not ashamed. You know, if God used me to start uh, the ministry for six years and then I passed it on to Reuben and then Reuben carried it on uh, bigger and into the Holy One and, and bigger church and, and they're doing so much for the Lord uh, that the devil's mad. He tried to burn their church. But, you know, he has, he's a liar and, you know, uh, and they're blessed because uh, they do for the community to work. And when we do for the loss, God will bless us. When you give out of your heart, God blesses you. Usted no se va a llevar nada. Esa tumba no me la voy a llevar, pero quise ponerla. Porque así cuando yo me muera, nomás me tiran ahí en el pozo. Ya está pagado, ya está pagada la, la tumba. Y solamente se tiene que pagar la, los policías, ponerlo en el papel y otras cosas que eso sí va a tener que mi familia hacer. Pero el cajón, todo eso ya está. Yo por eso le digo, Señor, yo, yo ya tengo todo, Señor. Eh, todos los días te digo, yo estoy listo. Y si Él me quiere llevar, que me lleve. Y uh, yo quiero enseñarte mi tumba. I'm going to show you my, my headstone back there. Let's see. This is my beautiful mom's. She picked it out. My mommy's headstone. She's here. Her, her rest, you know, her body. We buried it here. But we know her soul is in another place and uh, I, I got uh, as soon as my mom passed away I wanted to be buried behind her whenever I die because they had told me I needed to get ready because I had heart failure and everything so I went and got mine fixed and I got it and it's done uh, look I was real big in that picture maybe I should put another one up here I was real big uh, I, I think I was still weighing like about 350 there or 360 uh, somewhere there uh, and um, I designed it. I wanted it the way I wanted it. Uh, I believe in the story of David and the Canandario, the praying hands, the Bible, the, the fish uh, in the bottom, and uh, Ministerios of Poder, uh, Psalms 23. And uh, I wanted it uh, built. They had, had to give me another one because they had made it where it was cut here and they stuck it in and it was lopsided. And I said, I told you I didn't want it cut. I wanted it to be all and they had to send it back to get a new one done <laughs> and they expense it and that one cost me forty one hundred dollars cuatro mil cien me costó y para este terreno aquí me costó thirty five 
dólares, $3,500 me cobraron por esta tierra. Eh, es caro, es muy caro estas cosas. Y yo lo hice porque uh, no quería que mi familia batería uh, y que ahí iban a tener que levantar ofrendas. Y no, no, no. I don't believe in that. I mean, I do it for people, but I, I don't think uh, I, I, if I preached about faith, giving, and, and receiving, and, and then to be there, and my family have to be asking for to bury me or have a place so I, I don't believe in that I'm sorry you need to prepare yourself I always thought the church prepare yourself friends all my gracias por estar conmigo y Dios les bendiga los amo los quiero mucho y ore por mí ore por Richard Richard Pacheco Perez was a great man he he chose his words in his moments of hurt to ask everybody for forgiveness. I want to share with you a quick testimony of how God works in our lives. But before I do that, I pray every friend that was a friend to Richard that you would take the words that he said and recognize how it is that he trusted in our Lord Jesus Christ. I was thinking about the moment that I met uh, Richard Perez. And, uh, man, I remember back in the day con los cristianos, uh, seeing uh, Richard and hearing him sing with, uh, even with Pastor uh, uh, Robert Torres, uh, who was our, our accordionista and part of his first CD uh, with lo, el grupo Los Mensajeros. I remember being in concerts with him with Tom Diaz, uh, right here on, uh, on Villarette and, and commercial. Uh, I remember uh, the concerts. I remember all the events. And then I, I remember when he came and joined the church at uh, Mensajeros del Gran Rey. And I remember that he came first. Uh, and as he came, his family began to come to the church. Uh, I was about 11, 12 at that point. And, well, we would have a Richard sing uh, in the praise team. He'd come and sing special songs. Uh, but every now and then, he had this uh, niece of his that would show up um, with him. And she'd get up on the pulpit, and I, I was a cameraman at that time. I had I had still not picking up an instrument. Um and in that moment, uh, I discovered his niece, Monica Yvette. And as they would invite him to sing, they would invite her to sing, and she would come up and sing, and I would record them as they would sing together, and I fell in love. That was Richard. <laughs> I fell in love with Monica Yvette. But I knew that in order to get to Monica Yvette, you'd have to love Richard because nobody Richard would not let anyone get to his knees unless he approved. For those who knew him, uh, he, he could be a difficult man. Uh, but I found a way into his heart, and I remember he used to have that banana uh, car. It was a long banana. I called it a banana car because it was long and it was yellow, and, and it was a big low rider, you know? And I remember one time he actually took us to eat and I sat in the back seat with Monica Yvette and he said, boy, you better stay away from her. I am watching you and I'll stop this car. And I was like, whoa, is, is he serious? I think he's serious. I was a young kid scared and I was uh, scared that my opportunity to fall in love with his niece would be destroyed. Uh, but we grew to love each other, and and he gone on with his recordings. He did one with Los Mensajeros, which became the first band that I joined at the age of 13. So when you hear his first CD, that was part of the first band. So we go way back. So just like Mondo mentioned earlier, how everyone had some way met their love of their life, which was his sisters and his nieces through through Richard Perez, and I was fortunate enough to marry uh, Pastor Monica Yvette. 
Richard was a best friend to many people. And as I share this and I see him share these words of his heart, how, how, how his heart was always never hesitant to ask for forgiveness. He was a man that always came by your side. If you have lost a loved one and you knew Richard Perez, he was there. So many times that I was at people's deathbeds, he was there also. Even in silence, even in prayer, he would lay hands or he would sit there. He would just always be there to console the family. Many of you have this testimony that a loved one in your life has passed away and Pastor Richard was there. He was a man that was there and he was faithful. He would eat with you. He would bring food with you and he would never let you forget your family. Today, I want to remind you, friends, that I never want you to forget Richard Perez. I never want you to forget the good times nor the bad times. Because uh, for those of you that know, knew Richard, you had both. You had good times. You had bad times. The, you just can't uh, know Richard and not have both. But I want to encourage you today that this man was able to humble himself and be a best friend. Be there when you needed him. Be there when, 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 when times were hard. And today, as you join us in celebrating his life, I want you to remember, just as Richard was a best friend to you, we have no greater best friend than Jesus also. Jesus is our best friend. And I want to speak to you today about a, a, a man of God, a, a, a special person, a, a, a family member, and, and, and this person that, that, that we know as Richard Perez, and, and, and despite all of his defects, despite all of his failures, he was faithful friend. He was a very faithful friend. And a true friend will tell you the truth even when it hurts. He shared some truth just right now. As he was sharing, he said he felt that so many had turned his back, their backs on him at the very end. But he still loved, and he sought the love of Jesus Christ. Today, I want to tell you right now that there's a greater friend than even Richard that we find in Jesus. For those of you that knew Richard Perez as a friend, I'm sure you would say he was a true friend. And Jesus always spoke the truth in love. And the one who loved the most spoke the hardest truth. He said at one point in Luke's gospel, in Luke's gospel in chapter 11, he says that which of his fathers, if a son asked for a fish, would give him a snake or a scorpion? If he asked for an egg, would you give him a scorpion or any other thing? If even you who are evil, notice the word he says, if even you that are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your father who is in heaven give the Holy Spirit for those who ask him. Now, Jesus' main point is that if we know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more our God to us. He has done so much for us throughout our lives. But it's that phrase right there where he says that makes Jesus' point even more clear that although you are evil, it's, it's, it blows my mind that Jesus calls his disciples. He's telling them not just that they're a little mistaken, not just that they're a little bit off, not just that they're a little misguided, but that they're actually evil. That it's important to know that we all contribute a little bit of evil in our lives. A couple of chapters later, we see in, in Luke's gospel, Jesus talks about a group of people who, who died. And he says, and he makes this parallel that these 18 people, he says, a great tower fell upon them and they all died and you would think that Jesus, a man of great compassion, the man of great love, you would, you would think that he says something a little more different, but he said this. And I want you to listen to this closely. He says, do you think that they were more guilty 
than all of the others that are living in Jerusalem. I tell you no, Jesus says. But I tell you this, unless you repent, you will all perish. You see, tragedy, when it happens, it doesn't mean that that person was worse of a sinner because it happened to them. And that's Jesus' whole point, that what happens to these people, these 18 people, the, the Christians were looking at him, and they were, they, they, they were actually Jews. They were looking at these people, and they said, No, hombre, pues por eso le pasó, porque están ahí en el pecado, porque viven y clamaron esto, hicieron esto. No, 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 no. Jesus turns around, and he, and he makes this point that it's not what you think. And I want to charge you today as a friend, as everyone, that what you may picture is not it's not what you think. Things don't happen to people because they, they, of their failures or their shortcomings. The word of God says, if your mind is that way, unless, he says this, he says, unless you repent, unless you repent, you will also perish. But he also says that he shows us that these tragedies can happen to anybody. God, who gives us good gifts, but it is not right. There's something really wrong. We are seeing family members, we're seeing loved ones uh, uh, consumed and taken over by this sickness. I tell you this, Richard would have never thought that this pandemic would have taken it out, that it would have been, that the end would come through this. After uh, him sharing and him speaking that he thought uh, at that point, he thought that his, uh, his life was over when he began on his heart and everything started falling apart. But I tell you this, he would have never thought. Everyone has a conclusion. But their conclusion doesn't mean it happened to them because of their failures. And God warns everyone that before a greater tragedy happens to us, that we need to turn to him because Jesus is a true friend. He warned of the coming judgment. He paralleled his final judgment. And, and he says this to, uh, about the end of the days will be like the days of Noah, that while everyone was eating and drinking, while they were eating and drinking and doing well and living their life, and then the flood came down upon them all. Jesus spoke about it. And he said that is going to happen one day. And it's going to happen because of It's going to happen because of us. It's not going to happen because of someone else. We look into evil and realize that it's, it is about us too. Jesus' ministry and all that he did in the context, it has a context in the wider world of, of a curse that has been brought upon ourselves by our own sin. Do you know who talked about hell more than anybody in the Bible? You would, you would think it's a old prophets the old testament prophets you would think that the apostle paul or the book in Re uh, revelation no jesus say jesus talked about hell more than any other person in the bible why because because jesus cared the most and he didn't want others to go there jesus Jesus didn't just come to the point to point this out, but Jesus came to reverse this curse. And we hear Richard saying that it's the cross, that there is room on the cross for our sins. And a true friend is willing to give up his life for you. And that's exactly why we are here today. For those of you, that know Richard, you know that his life was dedicated to Jesus. 
Our lives are not defined by our sin. Our life is not defined by our failures. Our life is defined by our Savior and who we have our faith in. And if you trust Jesus Christ, you can be washed of your sin. Jesus' death comes to take, he, he comes to take out all the sin, all the, the rightful and just judgment of God from our lives. Listen to what Jesus says in John 15. He says, no one has greater love than the one who lays down his life for his friends. Or in John 10, 9, he says, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Or Mark 10, listen to this, for even the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as ransom for many. Joseph was told, by an angel that Mary would give birth to a son and that they would name him Jesus because his name means God saves. His name means God saves because he would save his people from their sins. Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, he took bread and he took the cup and he said, this is my blood and the covenant that is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Jesus knew. He knew what he was doing when a good friend laid down his life. Jesus on the cross, he, he takes the load of sin upon himself. Friends, I want you to listen really closely because Richard knew this very well, that Jesus takes the load of sin upon himself. Oh, and Jesus, he stands in the place for others so that they can go free. Jesus perishes so others may be saved. Jesus is judged so that others might be justified. Who are these others, though? It is you, my friend. Who are these others? It is me and you, each and every one that is a friend of Richard Perez, needs a Savior that can cast, that we can cast our cares, our sins, that we would be covered by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus can free us. Jesus is judged so that others might be justified. All of those who know themselves to be in need of a Savior, we all know, this brings me to my final point, that a true friend not only tells you the truth, which Richard did, he tells you the truth even when it hurts. Not only is he willing to lay down his life for you, but a true friend is always, a, a true friend always welcomes you, and Jesus welcomes all who come to him. That's the good news of the gospel. That's the good news of the gospel, that all who trust and rely on him will be welcomed by him. Jesus said to himself, all that the Father gives will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Remember those familiar words of Jesus that he often quoted in Matthew 11. Come to me all that are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. How oh, Richard would cry out to the Lord that he would give him rest. And today he is resting in the arms of Jesus. But what is it that, what is the rest that he's talking about? This is, come that are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am gentle and humble at heart and you will find rest for your souls. Rest from what? Rest from our sickness. Rest from our burdens. No, 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 no. He says, Rest for our souls. I believe Jesus was talking about the burden of sin. Today you may be facing the burden of sin. And that we know that when we look down deep in our hearts, we all have some sin. It's not just the sin that is evident, but there is sin that people don't even know about. You may think, well, maybe it's a friend of Richard. No, 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 no. 
You could be a pastor, minister, evangelist, and still fall short of the glory of God. No one's exempt from the burden of sin, and God calls us to the peace that surpasses all understanding, and that peace is Jesus, and God gives us promise that we could rest from the burden, rest from the guilt, rest from the judgment that we know we all deserve, rest from trying to earn your way into heaven. Guess what? You cannot pay your way into heaven heaven you cannot earn your way I don't care what good deeds you have it takes surrender rest from earning your way into favor you don't have to do that Jesus did it for you he took your sins and if you would believe upon yourself today Jesus will come and give you rest so Jesus through today through his word and his spirit says, come, it's here for you. Jesus will give it to you. He said what Jesus does, this is what he does for his friends. And I asked this question this morning. More than anything else, I would urge you to ask yourself, are you Jesus' friend? Is Jesus your friend? For without his friendship, you are lost. There's no hope. There's no hope for you. There's, there's one God and he has made you and he has formed you the way you are. And there's only one way to be put right with God and, it, and accepted by him. And that is through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus said it himself in John 14. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. This is the Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus that still lives and has risen from the dead. He will be your way. See, right now with everything going on and all this, religious pluralism is a lie and a deception of the devil. It's a delusion, my friend. For only Jesus is God. And only Jesus has lived and died and risen again. And therefore, Jesus and only Jesus is a friend that you need to enter heaven. For Jesus is a friend of sinners. <laughs> Trust him today and you will be forever his. Trust him today and on that last day, on that last day, on the resurrection day, when you're looking for a friend, when you're standing before the Lord Jesus, you will step forward and he will claim you as his very own. There is a door of mercy, guys. There is a door of peace and mercy and it is flung wide open before you today. But Jesus will not always offer this. He won't always offer this friendship to you. He makes it plain in John chapter 3 that whoever believes in his son has eternal life. But whoever rejects the son will not see life for God's wrath remains on him. Don't stay under that, my friend. Don't stay under the wrath anymore. Put your faith in the friend of sinners put your faith in the only friend of sinners now even now in this service he is speaking through his word to you believe and trust this today i'll tell you if you are a friend it doesn't matter where richard was he told you about jesus he told you about his faith and he told you to pray to trust to pray to trust he always spoke the same thing it didn't matter if he was in the church it didn't matter if he was in the streets it didn't matter where he was at he would tell you about jesus and today i want to remind you that the importance of Jesus is that he takes the burden of our sins away. Today, there's room on the cross for you. And I want to give every one of Richard's friends, family, an opportunity to share in the promise that we have and being able to see our brother in heaven. You see, it's not our sin that's the issue it's our faith Jesus died for our sins and we need to trust that he covers our sins and we need to turn and live 
faithful to God and trust that his blood has bought us. So with all our heads bowed, we're going to pray. A prayer of salvation that Richard had told me from day one that if you ever do my service, you call every one of my friends to the feet of Jesus and you make it a revival moment. We are going to make history right now on this page. Every one of the friends of Richard will come to know Jesus Christ and you're going to realize that only God can make the difference. Only Jesus can change. Only Jesus can restore. Only Jesus can resurrect and we're believing that there is a glorious day that God promises that as he left us that he would prepare a mansion for us today you make a decision to live is for Christ and to die is gain Father God in the name of Jesus Father you said there is room on the cross for us he said there is room for us and I pray right now for each and every friend that is tuning in right now that they will not look at their failures but they will look at their faith in you Jesus that they will cast their burdens that they would cast their cares and that they would trust that there is a greater opportunity in Jesus that we could share in eternal life and Father God that you can pull us out of the pits and the lies of the enemy that the devil is a liar Lord you give them strength right now Father God we receive you into our hearts Forgive us of our sins, Father God. Wash us by your blood. We receive you in the name of Jesus. And everyone say, amen and amen. Thank you for celebrating the life of Richard Pacheco Perez. We love you guys. God bless you. Va a decidir cuándo nos vamos a morir o, cuándo, o, o de qué manera. Quien decide nuestra vida se llama Jesucristo. Amén, hermanos. Den un aplauso al Rey de Gloria. Así que, hermanos, este canto que se llama.
God bless you. This is Lucy Royale. My condolences to the Perez family. I want to say that today our hearts are so broken. We know that Richard left us too soon. Richard became my spiritual son, actually my very first spiritual son from the age of 12 years old. He became one of the greatest gospel singers that's ever lived. Our hearts is so broken. I know Richard did so much for the work of the gospel, and I know that he has a reward in heaven. May God bless you all. Richard, we love you. You'll always be in our hearts. We'll never forget you. Rejoice in heaven. Enjoy the presence of the Lord. Oh, Richard, we love you. We miss you. We're going to sing the song. We got the whole world in his hands. 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 Richie Perez me grabó este canto. Y me llamó y me dijo, hermana Gloria, un día yo la voy a traer aquí a San Antonio, Texas, porque usted ha sido de mucha bendición para mí. Y lo cumplió y me presentó a su bendita madrecita, a su padre, a todas esas hermanas preciosas, Mónica, su esposo, muchas gracias por muchos años de conocerla. Richie para mí fue un gran amigo, un gran compañero que decía la verdad, lo criticaron y lo juzgaron como a mí, pero siempre estuvo ayudando a muchísima gente. Y le doy gracias por conocer esta familia Pérez, que les mando un fuerte abrazo, muchísima fortaleza y un beso bien grande para cada uno de ustedes. No pude estar ahí, siempre lo acompañé en sus aniversarios, en sus cumpleaños, pero por todo lo que está pasando, no pude estar ahí, pero ¿saben una cosa? ¿Saben cuánto quise yo a este, mi gordito de oro, como le decía yo? Dice la palabra del Señor en Filipenses 1.21, porque para mí el vivir es Cristo y el morir ya es ganancia. Que Dios te bendiga, familia Pérez. Los amo en el amor de Cristo. Le saluda su amiga y servidora, Telma Peña. En esta ocasión, enviando un saludo de consolación a toda la familia de nuestro querido Richard Pérez, que ya pasó a la presencia del Señor. ¿Qué es lo que me gustaría compartirles a ustedes, especialmente familia? Decirles que sanar las heridas se puede con Dios. Levantarse y seguir adelante se puede con Dios. Y contar con las oraciones de un pueblo de Dios a favor de ustedes para que sean abrazados y consolados por nuestro Padre bendito. Se puede con Dios. Sonny and all the family, the Perez family. Uh, this is Sister Maria Elena, and I just want to thank God for my friendship to Brother Richard through the years. I saw him as a son. As you know, I have four sons, and we've been knowing Richard since they were all young men. And uh, I treasure so many wonderful memories. Uh, all the concerts, uh, when he gave me a party, when he was a speaker there, when my husband Jess passed away, he did an awesome job at the funeral. And then when Charlie passed away, I asked him to sing one of my favorite songs. And he says, yes, I'll do it, uh, because you're my friend. Well, thank you, Richard, for so many, many wonderful memories, so many things that you did for me. I loved you like a son, and I know you love me like a mom, right? Anyhow, we had a lot of good times. Praise God, and I'm just so 
thankful to the Lord you finished your race and you were able to reach many people uh, to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So Jesus be glorified. Amen. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So no more tears, no more sorrow, no more uh, suffering. You're in the presence of the Lord rejoicing. And I will continue to play your songs on my radio program. God bless you. And to the rest of you that are watching, uh, you all need to be preparing spiritually. Party. The party is literally over. Jesus is coming. And one world government is setting up for the Antichrist. I pray you don't stay. I already gave you the warning. God bless you all. I love you. Till we meet again. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, I'm uh, Liz Solis, and uh, I uh, have a lot of memories with uh, about Richard Pettis. Um, he was a, a great friend, precious, uh, kind, and willing to help anyone that asked him. Just automatically wanted to serve. And I have a, a, a lot of memories about him, but I remember uh, from the very beginning when we were in a group devotion, um, uh, we had to leave. And he told us, I came to this church to be with y'all and y'all are leaving, I don't wanna be here by myself. <laughs> and then ultimately he started going with us. And one time I had a dental appointment and uh, I knew we had to sing in Sinton, Texas. I said, oh, it's gonna be in the morning, I'll be done. We can leave and we'll just go. And then my appointment took longer. And then um, uh, thank goodness I kept the car because they had to go. And Cynthia, my sister, she says, Liz, I can't believe I don't know any of your songs. <laughs> and we've been singing for so many years. So guess who sang and filled in while I got to that church in Sinton? Richard. Richard sang all the songs he knew and he played them, he sang them over and over again. Sing it again. <laughs> anyway, he was kind of like put on the spot. But, uh, and then he, when I got there, he just goes, it's to me. You may be saying all the songs I know. I don't know any more songs. <laughs> I said, Everything, everything's okay. I said, this is about Jesus. It's for Jesus. Anyway, I just loved him so for that, for stepping up. And that was one of the first times, you know, he says, I don't sing. I'm shy. No, I don't. I don't. He loved actually a lot of music, but he never got up on his own, you know, just to, just to sing. And so, come on, Rich, you're going to sing. You're going to go. You're going to sing. Anyway, he started doing that more and more. And as he started to do that, the Lord began to bless him and gave him favor with a lot of people because people just loved him. You know, I do. I have so many cherished memories with him. And I just like, man, I can't believe this. I, all day long, you know, I'm just going, oh, uh, my Richie, oh, Rich. You know, just kind of just saying his name out loud. And today I was uh, singing and um, there's a song he sang. Is One of my favorite ones is, well, this is one of my favorite one of his songs is, Hay una vida maravillosa, y en esa vida es Cristo Jesús. And it reminds me of the parade, when we used to come out on the parade. I would sing a song, and then he would sing a song, and I just, man, people loved him. It just went crazy. And, you know, just being, doing shout-outs from where they were sitting. And um, I've already cried and cried and cried for my friend Richard. And, you know... I'm also grateful that he's in the presence of God right now, but I, I want him here still. And I just want to hug him. He gave the best hugs and uh, I'm going to miss my friend. He's still, always going to be forever cherished in my life because he did really make a difference in my life and he, he made me laugh a whole lot. And that's all I want to say. And uh, Perez family, I love all of you. Linda, Lisa, so Yolanda and Diana, I'm sorry, and Erica. And Brother Sonny, the Lord be with you and bless you and comfort you and all of you in this uh, difficult time, but we're gonna rejoice uh, for the time that we did have him and celebrate. God bless all of you. Hello, God bless everybody. Dios me los bendiga. 
Yo soy Ana Lidia, un ministerio que fue impactado por la vida de nuestro hermano Richard Pérez. Eh, le quiero enviar mis condolencias a toda la familia Pérez, una familia tan linda, tan especial. Tienen un lugar muy especial en mi corazón. Les amo, estamos orando por ustedes. Pero en este momento yo quiero darle gracias a Dios por la vida de Richard Pérez. Fue una persona que impactó mi ministerio, mi vida en personal y también fue una persona que lo hacía con tanto amor, con tanta alegría. Me recuerdo bien en el año 2000 cuando Dios estaba extendiendo nuestro ministerio al ministerio evangelístico. Recuerdo bien que una de las primeras personas que fue de bendición a nuestro ministerio fue nuestro hermano Richard Pérez nos llevó a, al estado de Texas y todo el área de San Antonio muchos diferentes lugares pudimos visitar pudimos uh, ministrar y nuestro hermano Richard tan alegre una persona que lo hacía con todo su corazón y en este momento eh, les quiero decir que realmente eh, me, me puse triste a saber que él ya no estaba con nosotros Pero sabemos que un día lo vamos a volver a ver en el cielo Yo sé que en este momento él está disfrutando él Está disfrutando lo que es la presencia de Dios en el cielo Y yo sé que un día, muy pronto, usted y yo lo vamos a volver a ver so, En este momento Quiero celebrar juntamente con toda la familia, con todos sus amigos, con toda la familia de Dios, la vida de Richard Pérez, que impactó mi vida y muchos ministerios. Y queremos cantar este canto dedicado para toda la familia bajo tu sal. Son las aflicciones, las aflicciones del justo. Vamos Rey Hi, this is Karina Moreno and I want to tell you guys how sad I am that our beautiful friend and brother Richard Perez has transitioned. We are sad. He is glad. He is in an unimaginable place, a place where I think we are all wanting to get to as soon as possible and I'm just so uh, saddened by this but strengthened that all of you guys will feel this unspeakable joy in your hearts and that we may live for the day when we will see Richard again. Love you guys and may the peace of God overflow your hearts. Yo quiero trabajo.
Blessings. I'm Pastor Jerry Ruelas from Lion of Judah Christian Church, and this is my wife, Norma Ruelas. And on behalf of our church family, uh, we want to send our condolences to the family of Brother Richard Pérez. Richard Pérez was a great blessing in our life. I had the privilege of knowing him for almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. Right before he even recorded, we had some very good times together. His music will always be treasured. I remember many times that he preached at our church, and there were even times that he would call me and ask me, Pastor, can we use your church to have me in Estados de Poder concerts? And I remember him being there, and the concerts were of a great blessing. So he will be greatly missed, but we know that one day we will see him again. We have that hope, that's a Christian hope. And so I want to just tell all the family of Brother Richard Perez that we send our condolences to you, and we pray blessings and God's strength upon your life. And we just thank God that Richard was a part of our lives and forever we'll remember him. Amen. ¿Qué tal? Saludos de los hermanos Telles, Isaac, Irán Telles. Les amamos, les bendecimos en el nombre del Señor. Y este video es para bendecir a cada uno de ustedes y tener gratos momentos de un buen amigo. Un amigo que cambió nuestras vidas, que hizo mucho por nosotros, a lo igual que se lo hizo por ustedes. Por eso están viendo este video. Richard, we love you. We're going to miss you dearly. And we hope to see you soon en las calles de oro. 1994, te conocí en la ciudad de Kennedy, Texas. No se me olvida. Y desde ese día llevamos una amistad que llevo en el corazón. Nos reuniríamos una vez más en las calles de oro, aunque ahorita con un nudo en la garganta y con el corazón quebrado porque sabemos que te vamos a extrañar, pero con la certeza que nos vamos a volver a reunir en el cielo. Richard Pérez, te amamos con todo el corazón y a toda la familia. Les amamos, estamos orando por ustedes. Un gritito, como decía Richard. Love you. God bless everybody. Uh, in behalf of... Uh... There's room at the Cross Church here in Yoakum, Texas. Pastor Gilbert Mesa, uh, the congregation, myself, Joseph Garza. Uh, well, we would like to send our sincere condolences to the Perez family. And, uh, well, I just uh, will always remember Brother Richard as a great friend. Uh, I remember when, in the passing of my mother and my father, Brother Richard didn't hesitate. He said, Brother, I'm there. And he sang at both their funerals. And we will forever be grateful. Brother Richard, God bless you. And you know what? Say hi to mom and dad in heaven. Betty's family, one more time. Remember, Christ will wipe away our tears, it says in Revelations. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Trino Pais. I would like to extend my most sincere condolences to Richard's family, to his dad, to his sisters. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for the opportunity of knowing Richard. Um, Richard, we love you. We thank you for, for everything that you did for me and my family. Thank you for opening the doors of your home. Thank you for opening the doors of San Antonio. Thank you for, for always being there, Richard. Oh, man, just like brothers, we argue we'd fight we'd bicker but never ever we stay upset and i just want to tell you man that i'm going to miss you it's going to be it's going to be difficult going to san antonio and not stopping by to pick you up but listen to me this isn't goodbye this is till i see you again in jesus name Amen. hello this is pete bustamante um so many memories of my brother and friend richard perez um, don't know where to begin, but first of all, I just want to say that it was an honor, a privilege, a big blessing to have met Brother Richard Perez, to have known him as my friend. Um, I met Brother Richard when I first started the ministry around um, 10 years ago. Brother Richard right away welcomed me, received me into the family of God, supported my ministry, played my music, and helped open many doors for me. I will never forget that. Uh, we shared stage together many times, uh, concerts, uh, traveled together, 
Um, he uh, always invited me to participate in all his uh, celebrations that he would have regularly, uh, concerts, uh, fiestas, and it was just such an amazing blessing to be a part of all that. Um, I'm gonna miss Brother Richard Perez a lot. Uh, it's a tough day to have to say goodbye. Um, Brother Richard left us suddenly and unexpectedly, but today I rejoice in my heart because I know Brother Richard is in God's presence. And one day I will see my friend, my Brother Richard Perez again. Um, but until then, I, I, I will not say goodbye, but I will just say until I see you again, I'm gonna miss you, Brother Richard. Love you. God bless you, everyone. Pastor JC with God's House Church. We'd like to extend our most respective condolences to the Perez family at this very moment from um, our church family to yours. We are sincerely um, in a saddened state and uh, would ask that the Holy Spirit will bring the peace and comfort to your family at this very moment. I'd like to um, say um, Richard was, was my friend, very good, good friend. Uh, we had very good times, did a lot of radio ministry together and uh, throughout the years, um, there was not one bland moment when uh, where we would go and travel together and minister together. It was, uh, had a blast, had a blast. We're gonna miss him very, very much. And as you know, uh, we run the good, the, this race and we fight this good fight of faith. He just got ahead of us and, um, well, but we'll meet you there, Richard. We'll see you there uh, one day soon when Jesus comes again or our time is called and uh, we know that you are in a great place the bible says uh, for the believer to be absent from the body is to be in the presence of the lord and uh, we're going to uh, rejoice we will miss you here but uh, we'll see you on the other side god bless your day Saluda Yesenia Bernal Sarabia y quiero tomar este tiempecito para enviarles mucho amor, decirles que Dios está cerca a los quebrantados de corazón y Él nunca, nunca nos va a fallar. De parte de mi esposo Josué Sarabia, nuestra hija Maya, su servidora, queremos extender nuestras más sinceras condolencias. Les amamos y queremos animarles a seguir confiando en el Señor, aún en medio del de dolor. Él sigue siendo el quien merece nuestra honra y nuestra gloria. Y extrañamos al hermano Richard, claro, pero nosotros sabemos que él está en la presencia de Dios. Él es fiel y de parte de toda la familia Bernal, queremos eh, decirles que Aquí estamos para apoyar, eh, estaremos orando para esa fortaleza, ese consuelo que solo Dios puede dar. Y para mí, quiero decirles que fue un gran privilegio poder despedirme de mi amigo Richard y poder cantar eh, de el amor y el descanso que solo Dios nos puede dar. Ánimo familia, sigue adelante el Señor está con nosotros. Que el Señor te bendiga. Soy el hermano Jaime Contreras de la ciudad de Monterrey, Nuevo León, México. Me encuentro ahorita en mi hogar con profundo dolor mis más sinceras condolencias para la familia de mi hermano Richard Pérez, su señor padre, nuestro hermano Regino. 
¿Quién nos recordará a Richard Pérez? En mi casa no me quieren por cristiano. Eso es recordar a Richard Pérez. Un grito de júbilo. ¿Cuántos no recordarán a Richard Pérez? ¿Cuántos hogares no fueron transformados? Personas en las cárceles que fueron transformados y ahora predican la palabra del Señor. Gracias, Richard. Gracias por todo. Te amo, Richard. Te veo en las bodas del Cordero. Nos vemos. Te amo. Dios los bendiga. Richard, you remain in my mind and in my heart. I am broken hearted uh, the day that I heard that you had passed. But I also rejoice because heaven is, is beautiful and eternal. Um, this is what you preached about. This is what you lived for. Um, I thank God for the people that you touched. And I guess I can speak on behalf of so many people uh, that enjoyed your birthday, con your birthdays, your concerts. You know, I enjoyed our long talks. Um, our friendship here, our friendship chain here on earth has been broken but it will be linked in heaven as God calls us home. Um, there's a scripture in John 15, 13 that says, a greater love has no man than to lay down his life for a friend. And that you did. You gave so much to so many people. Uh, Richard, I can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. I love you and I will cherish our memories together. I will listen to your CDs and, and just think about Our friendship, um, your friend and pastor, Bonnie. Bye. Yes, from Lubbock, Texas. This is Pastor Danny from Radio Vida West Texas. We would like to extend our most sincere condolences. To all the family, praying that God would grant you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Paul said in Romans 1.21, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. So we know that Richard lived for Christ, and now he's gained his eternal home in heaven. God bless. Hi, this is Joshua Guerra, and I want to take a moment to remember my friend and my brother in Christ, Richard Perez. Richard touched many lives through his music, his ministry, his fun-loving and charismatic personality. He was truly one of a kind and will be missed. To Richard's father and all of his family, my wife and I give our deepest condolences. We pray God's strength and peace carry you through this time. The Bible says that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. One of Richard's favorite songs was, He is my reason for living. He is my everything. Well, now Richard is present with his everything. We love you, Richard. God bless you. Dios les bendiga, les saluda a su hermana evangelista Carla Saldaña, directora de Bendición Musical en Austin, Texas. Y hoy en este día me siento completamente honrada por poder llegar a ustedes. Imagínate cuando Richard vio al Señor cara a cara. Imagínate cuando Richard pudo una vez más ver a su mamita cara a cara. ¡Wow! Eso me, me emociona, me emociona pensar que un día también nosotros, si somos fieles hasta la muerte, podremos gozar de lo que Richard está gozando en este día. Solo que no hemos perdido a nadie. Póngase en mente eso. No perdimos a Richard Pérez. Sabemos exactamente dónde está. Está en los brazos de su Padre Celestial. Solo que les amamos, mi esposo Moisés, yo Carla Saldaña, les amamos de todo corazón y reciban un fuerte abrazo de nuestra parte y de parte de todo bendición musical. This is Pastor Manny sending my love and my prayers to the family. We are celebrating the life of our beloved brother Richard Perez, a great friend, a great brother. He was always there to help. Extiendo mis condolencias a la familia 
de alguna manera él tocó la vida de mucha gente y lo vamos a extrañar mucho a toda la familia Pérez eh, Montoya eh, amigos eh, estaremos orando quisiera estar ahí en persona pero lamentablemente no se pudo pero les mandamos amor, oraciones y un fuerte abrazo a cada uno de ustedes les amamos y qué bueno que tuve el placer de conocer a mi querido hermano Richard Pérez. Richard, te amo mi hermano. Nos vemos pronto allá en el cielo. Dios te bendiga siempre. Llegaste a tu mansión. Love the family. God bless you. of Freedom Life Center and myself, my wife, Rudy and Patty Rodriguez. We want to extend our deepest condolences to the family, to the Pacheco family, the Teria family, um, our dear friends, Ruben and Monica Cortez, and the whole the immediate family. We, uh, we just want to say that we're praying for you, we are with you, we hurt with you, uh, because losing a loved one is painful. It is painful because we, perhaps we won't see them again on this earth, but we know that their memories will live on in our hearts. Um, you know, something beautiful about the life of Richard is, as teenagers, I just remember this, uh, this, this person that was ambitious and passionate about ministry. I remember as, as teenagers, we did parades together, outreaches, uh, ministered in different events. His life was about loving God, loving people, and, and just doing the, the work of the Lord. Ministry was his life. And what a legacy he leaves behind. You know, he's become a, a staple in the city of San Antonio, especially in the Hispanic community, uh, with his radio program and his music ha that has impacted so many lives. You know, what a, what a legacy. You know, there's a, a, a writer by the name of Miles Monroe, and he said these words. He says, the greatest tragedy in life is not death, but to live life and not know your purpose. Richard lived his purpose. Richard lived his assignment on this earth. And that's something to celebrate. You know, the Bible says that our bodies are going to go back to the dust, but our spirit goes back to the presence of God. And today, Richard is in the presence of God. He's celebrating up there. So let us celebrate on earth and honor him today. God bless you. We love you. Hey guys, I just want to celebrate with you guys the life of my good friend, Richard Perez. Wow, so many memories and so many lives impacted by you, Richard, including this guy right here. Thank you so much for opening the doors. Thank you for believing in the music that God gave us. Thank you for always being a good friend. I will always remember and treasure the moments and the memories that we share together, ministering to our Lord and Savior and touching so many lives. I know that right now you are singing away, you know, you're doing your ministerios de poder, singing away for Jesus. I can't wait for one day to join you again in heaven. But till then, I will always treasure the memories and you will never be forgotten. You will always be in our hearts and in my heart. Love you, Richard. Love you. Our most sincere condolences to the entire Pettis family, to Brother Sonny, to Richard's sisters, his nieces, nephews, his family and his friends. We want to give our sincere condolences on the passing and the news of Richard. And I just praise God for Richard and his life and all the things he was able to accomplish on behalf of myself, David Allen, my wife and my 
children, we, we give our most sincere condolences. But we also praise God for the life of Richard, his accomplishments, his music, all the lives that he touched and impacted. So grateful and to God the honor and the glory. And as, as, as it is written, para mí el vivir es Cristo y el morir es ganancia. So it's not so much that we, we, we cry tears of, of sadness, but tears of joy, knowing that as Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, so Richard too rejoices in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Nuestras más sinceras condolencias a la familia Pérez de la partida de un gran amigo, nuestro hermano Richard Pérez, de parte de un servidor y un amigo, Pastor Joel Cruz, juntamente con mi familia, que la paz de Dios esté en sus corazones. Que el Señor les bendiga, amigos y hermanos. Queremos darles las más sinceras condolencias a toda la familia Pérez de parte de la Iglesia de Esperanza y de toda la familia Cruz. Le pidemos a Dios que los cubije con sus alas y les dé las fuerzas en estos días tan difíciles. Bendiciones. Bendiciones, este es el pastor Jorge Rodríguez de la Iglesia Cortida Cristiana Cambio de Vida, que nos unimos en memoria para honrar a nuestro hermano y consiervo, amigo del alma, Richard Pérez, del Ministerio, Ministerios de Poder, la cual impartió, impactó mucha gente aquí en la ciudad de San Antonio y en los alrededores, con su música tejana, edificó el reino, edificó cada una de nuestras vidas, cada uno de los compañeros y amigos que estuvieron cerca y que estuvimos cerca de Richard Pérez. Richard, no nos decimos adiós, sino hasta luego, te nos adelantaste, pero tenemos la, la conciencia y, y el entendimiento de que estás en la presencia de Dios, siendo bendecido por Dios por toda la eternidad. Nos vemos pronto, campeón, y bueno, a los que nosotros estamos acá, es honrarlo, respetarlo, y darle gracias a Dios por este regalo de Dios en la tierra, el cual sirvió para edificar el cuerpo y edificar la iglesia, como fue el ministerio de Richard Pérez. Entonces, bendiciones y gracias por todo este tiempo de servir a Dios, servir la iglesia, servir la obra y servir a la iglesia de los santos.